Welcome back to Wood Street Farm. I'm Phil and we got a bunch of soil work to do. You can see that nice wood pile back there, a couple different wood piles. Been doing a bunch of firewood work lately, been covering all that on my other channel on Flat Creek Outdoors. But today I'm going to share with you a little bit of soil prep and also uh, some soil repair work because we had some excavation work done on the property and we've got an area that's all torn up So we're gonna try to fix that. We've got another area We're gonna plant some sunflowers this year and we have our final spring planting about to arrive So we need to till up some of last year's cover crop that's in the very back corner of the field So I'll share all of that with you in today's video, but first we're gonna see if the old blue tractor will start hope so This area here, this first area that I'm going to work on, is the area that we excavated subsoil from to build up that road over the creek over there. So uh, this all now is just completely torn up and I want to get some cover crop down on this to try to improve this soil. So this isn't a huge area but it, it's like it's a long narrow area. So I'm going to plow it up from over there where the tractor is and we're just going to do like a big rectangular area here and plant some ryegrass, plant some buckwheat, and you know, then till that in later, you know, early summer, and then uh, I don't know what we'll do after that, but the goal here is just to kind of improve this soil just a bit because this is pretty tore up. Um, there's also a little bit of grading work that needs to happen in here because where we excavated soil from, there's a little bit of a depression here. So I'm hoping over time we can kind of fill this fill this in or you know grade this out just a little bit pull some soil from over here pull some soil from over there so that's all part of the plan let's get plowing So I decided up here, this is the widest part where they took soil when they were excavating. I went left to right across the field. And then as I got down where it gets more narrow, I went up and down the field there. And I think this will do for now. We'll come back with the tiller and we'll get some seed down. And that's really all we're trying to do right now. And uh, we'll see how this does in a couple weeks. But let me go over now. Stacy's on the other tractor where we're gonna plant some Leland Cypress in that back corner of that field. So we'll go over and take a look at what she's doing. And then there's a third area we're gonna work on 
right over here, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. that's all tilled up it's looking really good this soil has uh, completely changed the way that it looks in the last year and a half now we have done several videos on this we dumped tons and tons of wood chips in this area last summer we planted two cover crops of buckwheat and then the fall cover crop which is what's still on here is a mix of oats and rape and clover and I don't remember what else but that's kind of the rough the rough mix and that has grown into the spring and you can see it was you know pretty prolific looking we probably should have mowed it first before we tilled it but after going over this with two passes it's broken up pretty good there's a little bit of a drainage issue on the down uh on the downhill side over there uh, right along the tree line it gets really soft but I think what I can do to help that is get the subsoiler out on the big tractor back kind of up into the tree line just a bit and just try to dig a couple little subsoil trenches off into that tree line and that I think will help some of that low part drain. Um, but I don't think long term we're really going to have a lot of trees along that tree line anyway since it gets shade half the day the trees won't grow. Um, you know won't grow real full anyway so uh, this is going to be room enough for us to do the hundred or so Leland Cypress that we have coming in and that is going to wrap it up for our planting of trees this spring and we're going to focus our energy into flowers which is actually going to be what we're going to work on next let's head over there this section here is right next to where we planted some pine trees a couple weeks ago and we've got about five rows worth of space which means over 40 feet worth of space before our next row of surviving trees over there and we've done at least three or four plantings in this section and have had very little success with anything surviving so we are going to spend some time to improve this soil so we're going to give it kind of the same treatment that we've done elsewhere we're going to plow it over we're going to till it up we're going to plant some cover crop and the first thing that's going to go in here this early season is some sunflower and that'll be in full bloom in early summer and we'll be able to have this as our first sunflower patch I've got a bunch of sunflower seed left over from last year so hopefully that'll work great for this section and then that'll get mowed down and we'll plant something else maybe a buckwheat or something for uh, late summer into the early fall and then we'll do something else over the fall and by then after a couple rotations of that uh, hopefully the soil tests out as being much better than it is now and we'll be able to get some trees in here next year Not a bad morning's work. We got everything done we wanted to get done. We did measure off this patch. I forgot to grab the camera and show you, but not that you really care. But uh, it's about 7,000, a little over 7,000 square feet. We've got almost 200 feet that way, and it's 40 feet between rows, but we're gonna leave enough room to mow around this thing. So uh, it comes out to right around 7,000 square feet, which is what, less than certainly less than a fifth of an acre this will make a really pretty sunflower patch i think it'll be really visible when people enter our property across the pond over there you'll be able to see the field of trees or at least what you can see up there close to the pond where the bigger trees are and then out behind that you'll see this patch of yellow which should look really cool 
but like I said this is just uh, an opportunity for us I think to improve the soil up here since we've had several batches of trees not do well uh, as I was plowing I did notice a whole bunch of big fat white grubs which were probably munching on the roots of our trees and that certainly didn't help uh, the trees that were in this area. So maybe some of the die-off that we had in this section was grub related. Maybe some was fertility related. Maybe some was drainage related. And maybe it was a combination of all of those things. I don't know. But if we can get rid of the grubs and we can improve the health and fertility of the soil, we, we can at least, you know, control those two things. The drainage, I can't control nearly as much, and that just kind of is what it is. But we'll try some more trees out here in another year or so after we get a couple of different crops through this area, and that should make things a little bit better. So spin you around from right there. This is where last year's flower patch was, and we put down ryegrass seed, annual rye seed, at the end of last season, and we literally didn't do anything to this except for mow down what was here. There was all of the sunflower debris, all of the cosmos that went to seed, all of the zinnias that went to seed, and we just, in that area where all those plants were, used the bag spreader and put seed out. And you can see it came out really well. I'm hoping since we're moving our main flower patch to the other side of the pond this year, um, we're just gonna leave this and I'm hoping our zinnias and our cosmos, or at least some of them will come back and this will look like sort of a little wildflower meadow. I don't know, we'll see what happens. If not, whatever, this can just sit the way it is for now. On the other half of this patch, cause this was like 180 feet long, where we did not have zinnias and cosmos, we are going to do some flowers over here later this season. So that'll be something we'll work on. But this half where the zinnias and cosmos were, we're just gonna let that sit and see if anything comes back. If it does, that'll be really cool. If not, oh well, we'll probably, you know, plow it up and do a cover crop in the fall or something. But all of this area here, this nice bright green, this is that annual rye. And we'll be cutting this down and tilling it in before it goes to seed and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it. While I was plowing the other sunflower section over there across the field, back that way, Stacy was tilling this first section that I worked on this morning. So now it is all good to go. And in this area up here, you can really see how this kind of cuts down right there and that's where we excavated a lot of fill dirt to take downhill to where that road is way down there. So what I'm going to try to do is just kind of fill this depression in just a little bit. So we've done some extra and I'm probably going to do a little bit more um, tilling up in this area and then we'll end up scraping some of this off and moving it over here and just trying to fill that in a little bit and of course we're going to get all of the weed and uh, grass seed that's in that topsoil over here as well and that'll help that fill in uh, at least that's my theory but eventually this whole field is going to be covered in christmas trees that is the long-term plan right now we've only been planting on that half of the field and we've got some more room to grow and since we've had losses we keep filling in where we've had losses and hopefully as we learn more we'll have fewer losses over time and eventually that field will fill up and we'll have to move over here so uh, in the meantime, that gives us time to kind of figure out how best to amend the soils and improve the soils and all that kind of stuff. And that's part of what we're hoping to apply to this side of the field before our trees start getting planted over here. So I'm going to um, plan on kind of grading this off a little bit, filling in that depression that's over there where we excavated some of the uh, clay soil for the new road that's down the hill. And we just got kind of our work cut out for us with all of this soil work here. But this is going to look really pretty, I think, as a buckwheat field. And that is our plan for spring and early summer is that we're going to plant ryegrass and buckwheat mixed together, really fill this up, get a lot of organic matter here, till that in. And, um, and of course, we've got to do a soil test and figure out what other amendments we need to add. And I know that there are some. This is actually a section here that we've never tested. So that's on the plan as well. And I'll keep you guys posted how that goes. So thanks for following along, guys. This was kind of a, a probably a bit of a long video because there's just a lot going on. And uh, I've got a couple of different projects here that I get to update you guys on in a future video. 
and just learning a lot of stuff here as it relates to planting Christmas trees and growing Christmas trees and hopefully having in the future better success with Christmas trees and then also planting different cover crops to improve the soil and planting flowers which will help us make some money here on the property. So all of those different aspects I look forward to sharing with you guys on future videos. If you don't already subscribe I hope you consider subscribing so you can plug into our future videos and get all these updates and until next time hope you have a good one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.